A warm greeting, today is Sunday, October 1, 2023. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. At the time of recording this video, it is 5.15 in the evening, local time in the northern Lesser Antilles, where we are closely monitoring the evolution of Tropical Storm Philippe. In this video, I will be updating the forecast related to Tropical Storm Philippe, which is located very close to the east of Guadalupe Island. During the past night, we observed some erratic movement a bit further to the west, which led to an adjustment of its trajectory closer to the Lesser Antilles. Nevertheless, it is still projected to pass just east of the Lesser Antilles and well to the northeast of the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico. It will pass very close to the islands of Barbuda and Antigua, which is why a tropical storm watch has been issued. The southwest movement we have seen in this cyclone can be seen in this image where, in recent days, it has moved further southward as predicted. Although it approached the Lesser Antilles region a bit more than we initially projected, it has finally begun to make that long-awaited turn to the west-northwest and will eventually take a northwest-north direction without entering the Caribbean region. This erratic movement of the tropical storm is associated with what was known as the Fujiwara effect, resulting from the binary interaction it had with tropical storm Rena. This forecast has been quite challenging due to the difficulty in predicting such interactions between two tropical cyclones, which have occurred only rarely in history. The good news is that the long-awaited turn has now begun. Take a look at the circulation center in the visible satellite image, where we can clearly see how it has started to move in a west-northwest direction. This will bring the center of circulation passing just east of Barbuda and Antigua Islands, where some tropical storm effects may be felt. Additionally, note that the rainfall activity remains displaced to the east and southeast of the circulation. This is due to strong wind shear impacting this cyclone. As I mentioned yesterday, if it maintains a westward trajectory, the wind shear will increase. Therefore, most models now do not predict the strengthening of tropical storm Philippe into a hurricane. I must mention that the European model has once again been the most accurate in forecasting the evolution of this system. The rainfall, which remains displaced to the east and southeast, will affect a large part of the central and northern Lesser Antilles. In this video, I will discuss the expected wind gusts in this area and the rainfall accumulations for the next 96 hours. After this westward adjustment, the models continue to agree on a northwestward trajectory for at least the next two days. Starting from Tuesday, it should make a more northern turn, passing well to the east of Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic, but still quite close to some islands north of the Lesser Antilles. This includes Anguilla, Barbuda, and St. Kitts. Furthermore, the intensity forecast has been adjusted. Most models now project that it will remain a tropical storm for the next five days. Let's look at the projections from the best global models. Here we have the GFS model with a trajectory passing just east of the Lesser Antilles and with some tropical storm winds that could affect Antigua and Barbuda. Winds are expected to be between 35 to 40 miles per hour, especially during the night of Monday and early Tuesday morning. The rest of the Caribbean is not expected to receive tropical storm winds. The European model aligns with this forecast, showing a trajectory passing about 25 miles east-northeast of Antigua and Barbuda close enough to expect windy conditions with winds between 30 to 40 miles per hour. The UK and German models also coincide with this forecast, showing a northwestward trajectory passing very close to the northern Lesser Antilles. In addition to the wind, we can expect several days of rain, at least until next Wednesday. Estimated rainfall accumulations range from 2 to 6 inches, affecting a large part of the central and northern Lesser Antilles, from St. Lucia to Anguilla. The heaviest rain should concentrate over Guadeloupe, Montserrat, St. Kitts, Antigua, Barbuda, and Anguilla. This amounts to 100 to 150 mm over the next 96 hours. Some local flooding is possible, but it should not be a major event. Before I go, I wanted to mention that the tropical wave I mentioned yesterday has lost support from the majority of the models. Currently, none of them predict the development of a tropical cyclone as it moves westward across the tropical Atlantic. For now, we don't need to worry about this system or the development of any cyclones in the rest of the Atlantic over the next seven days. Well, that's all for today, tomorrow, in the afternoon or evening, I will record a new video to provide an update on Tropical Storm Philippe. Goodbye for now.